Valerie Nielinschig and I'm absolutely delighted to be here today at the King Tut exhibition on Fifth Avenue. I've, it's very entertaining and informative at the same time and we've a crowd in excess of 100 people here to watch Dr. Zahi speak. It's incredibly exciting so I hope you're excited too. My name is David Irmutlu. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and I'm a huge fan of Egyptology and archaeology in general. Uh, my wife works for Premier Exhibitions, the company that's hosting this event tonight, and we flew up here from Atlanta to see Dr. Huas's lecture, and uh, we're looking forward to it very much. My name's Nancy Brenner. I'm with Premier Exhibitions, new to the organization since the company that I worked for, Dinosaurs Unearthed, recently merged with Premier Exhibitions. I've been in New York for two weeks now. I've had a lot of time to spend around the exhibit and around the people who have put the exhibit together, and it's just been absolutely fascinating. The exhibition is beautiful. I've learned so much about King Tut and the history of Egypt and some of the recent discoveries and what might still yet be discovered. We've had fabulous events around the venue, more to come at the beginning of the week. There's more and more people coming in here all the time and being able to experience the treasures of the pharaoh's tombs right up, right up close with these gorgeous recreations of what was found. My name is Kimberly Longo. I teach social studies sixth grade, which includes ancient Egypt in Brooklyn, New York. Um, so this is my second time at the exhibit. Very excited to see Dr. Hawass. Um, my necklace was actually given to me by a very good friend. This is a cartouche from Cairo, and it says my name Kimberly in hieroglyphics, and I'm very excited to wear it. I'm very excited to be here. Hi, my name is Evelyn Lyle. I'm a teacher of ancient histories at Shallow Junior High School, a junior high school in Brooklyn. It's an honor and a privilege to finally meet Dr. Zahi Hawass. I've watched him for over 30 years bring ancient Egyptian antiquities to life, and it truly is a privilege to finally get to meet such a wonderful man. Thank you very much, Egypt, for sharing your beauties with us and the rest of the world. Hi, I'm uh, Mark from Staten Island. I'm here on the uh, King Tut exhibit. It's uh, simply uh, indescribable. Uh, we can't even believe how beautiful the, uh, the, all the artifacts are, how the uh, workmanship is, how we could see the real face of King Tut. And uh, God bless everybody in Egypt, and we're loving it here in New York. Thank you very much.
say to always be a cautious traveler, but since I grew up in New York City, I'm a fearless traveler. So if I ever got the opportunity to visit Egypt, I would go in a heartbeat because it's one of my dreams. Well, we have a school teacher in our building, Rasha, who invites us every single year. And if I ever get the money and the time, I would be honored to visit Cairo and to go to Egypt. And yes, I absolutely feel it would be safe as an American citizen.